A visit to Machu Picchu is on just about everybody's bucket list and there are a bunch of ways to get here. One of the most popular of course is the Inca Trail but perhaps the most beautiful is the Salcante Trek to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is actually just down there in the distance. We're going to be visiting that tomorrow. Right now we are going to rewind about four days and show you what the Salcante Trek to Machu Picchu is all about. It is day one of the Salcante Trek. Yeah. So far we are feeling so lucky. The weather is absolutely beautiful. And the first stop, now that we've dropped off our backpacks at our dome, which we will show you later, is to head to Umante Lake. So today's video is extra special because on this hike with us, we have some guests. We're with a big group today. We've got my mom, my dad, that's Lois and Jim. And then in the back, we've got Jijo. Jijo is from Peruvian Pass and Adventures. He is going to be guiding us for the next five days. We're lucky enough to be doing a private tour and he's going to take us up and down mountains and all the way to Machu Picchu, right? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> we just passed. I think the 4,000 meter above sea level mark, and you could really feel thinner air up here. Give us the honest truth. Come on. How's it feeling? You were there. The oxygen you is killing me. Or lack of it. Is it up there? All the way up there. It's not like right there. Uh, it's deceiving, isn't it? When you're lower and you're like, oh, I think it's just right there. And then you get to that right there, and then it's like, oh, it's another 200 meters up. No. We got this. There's no rush. We got all day. We got all day. It's gonna take all day. We're gonna take all day. Tomorrow's gonna be a doozy. We're gonna go even higher. Yeah, that's true. But for now, let's enjoy the lake. That was a tough climb at the end there. Yeah, it's pretty steep. But this lake, totally worth it. It's really, really blue. It actually reminds me a lot of Canada. Yeah, it does feel like a yeah. lot like Canada. It feels a lot like our lakes at home. So this Umante Lake is one of the reasons why you would do the Salcante. Just, it's something you could do as a day trip coming mm -hmm. out of Cusco. But uh, if you're heading over towards Machu Picchu, this is just one of many stops of beautiful scenery on the way on the Salcante. Yeah, one of the main reasons actually that we did this track, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back from the hike, and we know we promised you guys earlier that we're going to give you a full room tour of the domes. So Nicole's in there right now, and she's going to walk us through it. Oh, I timed that really well, didn't I? It's pretty good. Come on in to our dome. So, she's actually really big. Three beds. We're probably gonna steal the blankets over of those two. Definitely, we're gonna steal those them. blankets and use it here to stay nice and warm. A nice little coffee table with our tea on it. We got a view of where we're going to tomorrow to continue on to day two of the soccer day. It's somewhere over there is the pass. And then we also, there's a whole bathroom in here. Yeah, it has everything in it that you need. Look at the shower. Doesn't the shower look fancy? Jet thingies and a seat. I'm assuming this is the gas heater for the shower. I'm hoping that's what it is because I would love a hot shower. And that's that. The whole bubble dome tour. We're totally spoiled tonight and we just have this for the one night, but it's gonna be magic. We're gonna thoroughly enjoy it. Okay, best update on the room tour ever. We thought that the gas that is like back here was to heat the shower. Turns out it's a furnace, like a heater. As you can see, I started to get ready for a very cold day or night and uh, now there's no need. <laughs> I'm so happy. After warming up, we hopped over to the dinner dome for some delicious food. Our chef thought we could warm up further by lighting bananas on fire for dessert. So we enjoyed our flaming fruit before taking one last look at the stars and crawling into bed early because day two was going to be a big day. Well, it's 4.30 now and at four o'clock we were woken up by the chefs and the chef's assistant with some coca tea. I don't know if you can see that. But now it's time for breakfast and we'll start hiking at five. So, 
Today is by far the hardest day that we expect on this Alcante trip. Probably gonna be hiking for like 12 hours. The first thing we do is go 800 meters up to the Alcante Pass. So far we're feeling good. Mom is on a horse because uh, the altitude kind of gave her a punch to the gut. So she's gonna take the horse up and we'll see how she's doing for the way down. But we're already being rewarded with this beautiful like sunrise light. I can't actually see the sun from inside the mountains here, but it is beautiful, like the pink hue that we're getting over everything. I love this time of day. Salcante Pampa, 4,150 meters, which means we have only another 450 meters to go till we get over the pass, and then from there it's all downhill for the rest of the day. In Quechua, the Andean language spoken by many indigenous Peruvians, Salcante is a word that means wild or savage. It's a fitting translation that aptly describes both the Andean landscape and our feelings as we made our final push to the top of the Salcante Pass. The relief and feeling of achievement when we finally arrived was indescribable. <laughs> Hardest part! We did it! Miko, please. Woo! Nice job, hon. Nice job. Proud of us. Nice job, you guys. How you feeling? Tired, <laughs> but it was good. We actually got it done, so that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. I'm surprised, but nah. beautiful up here, though. Did the job for the seniors. Yeah. Stunning up here. <laughs> yeah, one for the old guys. Yeah, one, one for the, the old, old guys. guys. <laughs> okay, well, how was the horse ride? Well, the horse ride wasn't the piece of cake we all thought it was going to no. be. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Riding a horse was actually a lot of work. For two hours? Yeah, cool. but it was, uh, the horse was amazing. And he stopped and took his own time and he, man, you could feel his heart beating so cool. like between your legs. The hike was actually really, really good. And the sun is out, so I mean like, you just can't complain. No, no. And seriously, nice. can we look at the sky? Have you wow. seen the bluer sky? The come on. Blue sky means no sacrifice today. That's eh? right. Yes. I'm not gonna get sacrificed. No lucky. <laughs> lucky. Lucky me. What happens if there's rain? Normally sacrifice one of my hikers. The youngest, <laughs> right? The youngest? Mm, that's me. That's you. I'm the youngest. Well, that pass was so tough, but it was completely worth it. I think uh, once we got to the top, everybody just took a break, took out some snacks, drank some water. Gijo started giving us a little lesson on the mountains and the area and how it is so important to Quechua and Inca culture. So now we're heading back down, which is great because the altitude is really, really challenging. And uh, we're ready for something with a little bit more oxygen. This is a long day, truly. Because you go like three hours up to the pass and then it's another like three hours to lunch, which is why you start at 5 a.m. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be a while, but I think by the time we get there, we're gonna be starving and the food has just been so incredible. So I'm really looking forward to lunch. I think we'll be able to breathe a lot once we get there. That's a bonus. The incredible mountain views made the long, steep descent to lunch much, much easier. After another delicious meal, Dad and Miko decided to show off their shared skill of being able to micro-nap anywhere. From here, we embarked on the final 10 kilometers of what was a very long and exhausting day. We did it. Well, it didn't take long. No, not at all. You're not suburbs at all. <laughs> oh, I have to say, I was... Most physically demanding thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah? yeah? I think so. You wait till you're 60 to do it. That was a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should have thought of this Yeah. Good luck. Have fun. Okay, 
So, we're splitting up this morning. These guys are gonna take the road, because it's flat. You and I are gonna take the, like, jungle path, which is a bit more up and down. We all have about 10 kilometers to do. And in four hours, we should be at camp. We hope. No, we should be at the van to take us to camp. Is that right? Yes. Okay, I got it now. Vamos! Vamos. Wild strawberries? Yes. In case we get lost out here. Mm. Sour? No. Oh, but we're too good. Need some whipped cream? Need some whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> This trek could not be any different from yesterday's hiking. Like, we are so much lower in elevation. We're in the middle of the jungle. Like, we're hearing parrots and we're keeping an ear for monkeys because apparently there are some here. I think that's one of the things that we're loving about the Salkante trek. One of the reasons that we chose this trek over the Inca Trail is because the vegetation just changes so much. Yesterday we were obviously like in the Andes and it was so beautiful, but mountains everywhere. And then today it's like you're in the proper jungle. And also, you get to breathe on day three of this trek because we are now below 3,000 meters and it feels amazing. We have a lot of these kind of fruits. Mm -hmm. This is the fruit from the jungle. The name of this fruit is Granadilla. Really? Yes. You, <laughs> You're not yeah. flipping us? <laughs> You're totally joking, you. aren't you? Most people bash us on their knee or something, don't they? <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> now it's ready. Ready to eat. Just broke it on my head. Yes. Look at that. I've been informed it's a slurpy fruit. They slurp it. Mm -hmm. It's so sweet. Mm. I don't like regular passion fruit, if I'm honest. It's just too seedy and sour. I'm like, why are we eating that? Now this, not an ounce of sour in that. We finished our jungle hike expecting to find my parents at our meeting point, but to our surprise, they were nowhere to be found. We heard reports that a couple had been spotted a few kilometers down the road past our meeting point. So we jumped into a van to see if it was them. Oh, Dad! Mom! Mom! Dad! Hi! You went past your stop! Pages, look at all! You guys are moving! Get in the car! Okay, we were supposed to meet my parents back like a 20 minute drive ago. They were supposed to be there by 11. It's like 10.40 now, and they're way, way past. What? What happened before you left? We were on the road for like 20 minutes. What? I was driving to find you. What? Yes? Get in. Come on in. We'll tell you the story okay. as you're in. Oh. You went like an extra at least 5K. That's so funny. Yo, I do. We've been driving for ages. I'm like, there's no way they made it. Oh, like, it's so much further. <laughs> so what, are we halfway to where we're supposed to be going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> The only thing better than getting to camp with nobody missing is getting to camp with nobody missing and being greeted by fresh avocados. After enjoying a delicious lunch, we spent the afternoon learning about Peruvian coffee and soaking our very sore muscles in the natural hot springs at a nearby town. It was exactly what we needed to prepare for our last day on the trail. Good morning, today is day four of our hike. Nicole's parents have opted to take a different way, but for Nicole and I, we're gonna head up the mountain to Yakta Pata. And on, all in all, it's gonna be a 17 kilometer hike to Agos Calientes, which is our jumping off point before we hit Machu Picchu tomorrow, very early morning. But today's challenge is gonna be still a big one. Hopefully at the top, the sky will be clear enough for us to see Machu Picchu for the very first time. Yes. 
<laughs> you guys are very, very sweet. Do you want to pass? We're never going to get to the top of the mountain. No, I know. <laughs> Can we stay forever? <laughs> me are like a sure sign that you're in the jungle and I think as Canadians like we don't ever see parrots I don't think the novelty will ever wear off they're just so cool and more you see this is Absolutely stunning. It's so, so, so beautiful. It is a bit of a journey to get up to this point on the hill, but if you're able to, man, is it worth it. Machu Picchu is somewhere over there. Oh, I can actually see it. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera because it is a bit like hard to see in this light, but man, I can't, I can't believe we're gonna be there tomorrow. And I think maybe the hardest part to believe is that on the left-hand side, there's this like huge mountain and we are also climbing that tomorrow. That's Huayna Pichu, which is like an optional part of Machu Picchu. But of course we elected to do that because why not hike more, why not? And like, you could see where we started from all the way over there, that's the Salcante Mountain. <laughs> we were there a few days ago. It's hard to believe on our own two feet, we walked all the way here. I feel pretty good about it. I honestly just can't believe the weather we've had this past few days. I'm really hoping that it stays this way. I know, because for tomorrow. We've, we've seen like some photos of people coming up to Machu Picchu and it's all like misty and foggy and it's hard to get a good view. Yeah. But you know what, honestly, like if we don't get awesome weather, like we have had such incredible weather on the Salcante. Yeah. We can't complain. For us, it's always about, you know, a lot about the journey rather mm. than destination and it's just been such a great hike altogether. Oh man. This place is magic. Machu Picchu will just be the crown jewel, but honestly, it will be. my na nature views bucket is pretty full. Yeah, it's pretty full. With our goal now in sight, we began the descent down the mountain. We stopped for a quick snack and stared into the horizon, hoping to burn the Andean landscapes into our memories. A few hours later, we made it to our final stop, the town of Aguas Calientes, where my parents were already waiting for us. We made it. We made it. What if it's it's nice must be starving. Yeah. All that stuff now is to go and see much Picchu, which we're doing in the morning. Oh, see you there. If video has convinced you to do the Salcante trek or any other trek in the region for that matter, we will link Peruvian Paths and Adventures below. Our guide Gijo has just been absolutely amazing. Incredible. And the food has also been so, so good. Our next video is going to be all about Machu Picchu and tips to visit Machu Picchu. So if you want to see that one, make sure you subscribe. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button. We'll see you in the next one.